is up, everybody? So I just want to, you know, give my thoughts on, on what's going on in the, today's world. And as far as I'm concerned, you know, um, there was a shooting of Kerr in some sort of in Texas school, I believe. Don't quote me on it, but I think it's called um, um, Robles Texas School or something like that. I know it was an elementary school. And... Apparently, there was 18 kids and one teacher that actually was shot and killed by an 18-year-old kid. Now, before all that, um, the 18-year-old kid that that beforehand killed, before she killed all those people, all the kids and the, and the teachers, he also killed his grandmother, you know, which was a, it's a, it's a crime shame, you know, it really is. Um, you know, it's it's one of those days where they, you know, it's like, I don't know, how can you say something like that? You know, it's just one of those things where, you know, I don't believe you can't control weapons because eventually, you know, the killer itself, first of all, the 18, I don't know where he get the, the image of what, well, I think I kind of know of the thing of, of violence, which unfortunately is is possibly due to seeing stuff on TV, music, etc., etc. And when your mind is not really developed yet, you tend to do a lot of crazy things. And according to people, they checked on his Instagram and it seems like he was very insecure, like something wasn't right with this kid. So, in my opinion, you know, he should have gotten at least a medical, like mental evaluation checkup. So that way maybe something like this wouldn't occur. You know, um, you know, I know some people say that, oh, you know, they should restrict gun controls and stuff like that. Or, you know, politicians, they could get involved, they need to get involved, which I, people can say what they want. But the fact is, is that to me, like the politicians, like what you see on TV, the presidents and everybody else, the senators and governors, they're just there for the vote. That's why I don't really talk about much of politics or news in general, because all they care about is ratings and power, which is voting. You know, like everybody has, everybody has their, you know, their one side and they're just going to stick to their side and not just stick together. Like Republicans are going to stick to their side and then the democrat they're gonna stick to the other side and then nobody's gonna stick together and fix what needs to be what needs to be done so you know in my opinion i don't think country gun control will be the only case i think maybe medical evaluation and if necessary also you know cops the school cops you know they should be allowed to have a weapon in their hand of of affirmative actual weapon for them they can use so that way something like this if there's a really an emergency like this occur they can be able to use it to stop it you know because this is ridiculous because you know I could imagine how the parents must be going through I don't know how I would have reacted to if I had my kids uh, go to the school and you know they go into a uh, you know, I, I just can't imagine. I don't want to imagine. I just, God only knows what I would have done if I was in their shoe. You know what I mean? And, you know, that 18 year old kid, you know, I think mentally he was really fucked up mentally. This kind of reminds me of uh, what happened with, uh, well, yeah, what happened with the, well, that was different. What happened at the around Florida, the Florida middle school, where the Nicholas Cruz had shot up the shoot up the school, it's kind of similar as what is over here. I think it's more mental, mental evaluation, like psychological fucked up. Like he was fucked up psychologically, and uh, you know, and um, honestly, if say if the weapons were taken away. Mentally, he was still trying to find a way to kill somebody, whether it's his hands or if it's somewhere in the kitchen. So you can't really say that, you know, once 
guns control is said, you know, it's pretty much dead and done. Like, there's no more violence. There's always going to be violence everywhere you go. It just so happens that the media and politics are so involved with that. It's like, you know, do they really want to fix the United States? Do they really want to help America, period? Because it seems like it don't. So, you know, that's just my thoughts and my opinion, you know. You know, it's just a, a tragedy. Like I said, my condolences to the, to the parents that lost their child on the hands of the 18-year-old uh, kid that is a murderer and unfortunately passed away as well. You know, um, you know, it is what it is, man. I just, uh, you know, I'm going to continue what I do and entertain you guys as much as I can and, you know, bring joy and bring happy because that's what my channel is about. But I know sometimes every once in a while you guys want me to speak up. You like for me to speak up into certain tragedies and stuff like this. So, you know, I'm giving one right now and, uh, you know, it's a tragedy, man. Rest in peace to all the, all the kids out there and the teachers, you know. It's a, it's a shame, but, you know, that's everything happened for a reason and unfortunately it doesn't seem like violence is never going to stop. It's just going to keep going. You know, can we prevent it? It's very possible, you know, but I always say that it's not, it's not the guns that do harm, it's the people who own the guns do the harm. You know, I think I said that uh, a couple of times here and there, you know, when I was in school, and I would say to people, like, it's not, it's not the people who buys guns, or it's not, it's not the gun itself that causes violence, it's the people who owns the guns that causes violence, you know. You know, guns don't really shoot, the, shoot out of nowhere out of the sky like that. You know, people who owns guns, you know. They're the ones that, you know, they're the ones that, that, that cause the violence. So, do I think there should be restrict guns? No. However, though, there should be at least better background checking. I would think so. And psychological things. Just like in prison. Like, God only knows and people that are inmates. You ever wonder why, you know, they, you know, they leave, they, uh, they were let go, set free in, in prison, out of prison, and then a few months later, they jump right back in. I think it's really more of a mental issue. A lot of mental issue into the play, you know? A lot of mental issues. And they're just people who just won't like to kill people. That just, you know, that's just the way how life is. There's good people and there's bad people. So, but it's just funny how, you know, politicians and presidents and people in, in the in the government sense likes to jump in and give their condolences and, and say what they're and promise on what they're going to do when in reality they're going to do nothing no matter whose side they are republicans or democrat it's the same shit it's the same shit so i don't, I don't that's why i don't care about politics i really don't you know so you know, so that's my, that's my, like I said, that's just my expression to my thoughts on the tragedy of those kids and, and the teachers they had gone to. So, you know, well guys, that's all I, that's all I have to say about that. And like I said, my condolences to, to everybody that's were involved. So, peace out.